In this video, I will show you how to add simple voice chat mode to your server. So to do that, uh, on a turn off, you will need to log in or create an account first off, which is really simple. And after you have created or logged in, uh, you will be in this page right here. Here, you will need to press create a server. And after you press this button right here, you will need to press create once more. And you will be redirected to this website, which will act as a hub for your server. Then after you get here, you need to navigate down to software. As you can see, it automatically selects vanilla, but vanilla doesn't support this simple voice chat mod. So you will need to change that. You press the change button. And when you get here, you select Fabric. Fabric is a third party software that allows you to use the mods. And then you find the exact version of the mod that you want to use on your server. For example, I want to use 1.20.1. So I select that version of Fabric. And when we get here, I press install. After you install, make sure to take note of the version that you just installed because you will need it further down the video. In my case, I just downloaded 1.20.1. Now, after Fabric has been installed, I navigate on the left and go over to the mods. I select that, and when I get here, in this search bar right here, I write simple voice chat and press enter. Then I can select uh, either one of these two. I want to select the first one. I select it. Then I find the version of uh, the mod that is matching the version of Fabric that I just installed. This is really important. In my case, it was 1.20.1, but yours is likely to be different in the future. And after I have found that version, I just press this button right here, and the mod should be successfully installed. The next step is to start up your server by going over to server right here and pressing start. I'll be back as soon as my server is started. But before I come back, you will need to accept Minecraft EULA if you're running the server for the first time. Make sure that you have read this and press yes if you agree. Now, after my server has started, I press the connect button right here. And after I have pressed that, I just copy this port right here. I select it and I right click and copy. Then I press OK. Then we navigate over to files right here. We open that up. After we open up files, we go into config. And then we go into voice chat. Then we open voice chat server properties. And after we have opened this up, we look for this text right here called port. You delete the already set port and you right click and paste the one that you just copied. And uh, as soon as I have finished with this, I just press the save button right here. Now that everything is saved, I go back to server and make sure to restart your server by pressing this button right here. While we wait to restart our server, I will show you how to add it to your Minecraft. First off, you open up your browser, then in the search box, just write simple voice chat mod. Then press the enter button. Make sure to select a reputable website such as CurseForge. Now, after we are inside of CurseForge, we navigate over to files. When we get to files, here we can choose a different version based on the game version that we're looking for. And then the next criteria is to find the correct mod loader. Both the game version and the mod loader of the mod that you're downloading must match the ones of the server. That is why I'm getting the 1.20.1 version, but yours is likely to be different in the future. So, we select the fabric version at the top, then we go to the three dots, and we press them, then we press download file. The download should start automatically, but be careful when you're redirected to this website because uh, you might be tempted to click on some of the ads, but they are not the download button, they're just ads. And as you can see, the download just finished. Now we open up a new Google tab, and in this tab, we write fabric Minecraft. Then we press the enter button, and we select the first website at the top. After we get here, we navigate to the installation part. We read this to install Fabric. You need to Fabric Loader, which you can download here. You press Download here, and here you can either select Download for Windows, which I'm gonna select because I'm using a Windows device, or you can press Download Universal Jar if you're playing on another device of another operating system. Let's select that, and the download should start automatically. Now let's exit our browser. And let's open up File Explorer. Then we go into Downloads, 
And right here, first off, we select both of the files that we just downloaded and we drag them over to our desktop. Then the first thing we will do is install Fabric. To install Fabric, we just double left click and open up the .exe that we have. Then we select the Minecraft version. The Minecraft version must be the one of the mod that we just downloaded. And my mod was 1.20.1. I select it. The loader version you shouldn't mess with and the installation location will be automatically found by Fabric unless you have a custom installation of Minecraft, in which case you will need to select it yourself. Then you check the create profile box and you press the install button. As soon as Fabric has been installed, you should run Minecraft. As soon as you load inside of the Minecraft launcher, you can either choose to go into the bottom left and select the fabric loader from there or you can go into installations hover over the fabric loader and press the play button now that we have loaded inside of minecraft at the bottom we can see minecraft 1.20.1 slash fabric that means that we have successfully installed fabric the next step is to close minecraft by pressing the x in the top right after we have closed minecraft we, we press windows plus r to open up the run prompt or you can just open it up by pressing the search button and writing run and opening up the app at the top now after we have opened up the run prompt we write percentage sign app data percentage sign and we press the enter button then we go into the minecraft folder and here we look for the mods folder the mods folder should be automatically created as soon as you launch minecraft using the fabric version that you just installed if it isn't here you just right click then go into new and then just press folder and name it mods now let's open up the mods folder here we take the voice chat fabric a mod that we just downloaded and we just paste it inside of this folder now we open up minecraft once again now after we have launched minecraft we go into installations right here we find the fabric loader we hover over it and we press play now that we are back inside of minecraft we select multiplayer we will need to add our server to connect to it let's go over back to the server hub let's go over and copy this address right here and open up minecraft press add server at the bottom paste the ip that we just copied but then at the end add two dots and write the port to find the port press the connect button right here find the port copy it and paste it back here and press done now after this is done as you can see we can just go inside of the server to open up a simple voice chat as default it's on the v button the simple voice chat mode overlay opens up here you can mute yourself mute other players Select the settings option and play around with a lot of the settings available or you can just create a group using the group button. You can also remove the icons that show up from the voice chat overlay by pressing the I button. Uh, if you want to mess around with some of the options or key bindings, you press the escape button, go into options, then go into controls and then go into key binds. Then scroll to the bottom. And here you have the voice chat options. You can change anything according to your wishes. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.